right, Michael Beamer here. Matt Martisich. We're here at the Scallywags, Marine Tech, and uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about this boat today. I saw Matt snuck a boat in the other day in the back shed, and so in with the new, out with the old. And, yep. And so we wanted to talk about this bit, nice little bay liner that we did, and um, we got this for free, right? We did, we did. And as, uh, as we always say here at Marine Tech, there's nothing more expensive than a free boat. So all you viewers out there, keep that in mind. Uh, we get a lot of offers for free boats here at Marine Tech, and we turn down uh, 20 to every one we actually accept. So we usually like to keep one good project going, and, and man, we have seen some real peaches out there in the free boat offers. Do you remember that, uh, that yeah. golf course sailboat, the, oh, the 42 West, sail 42 West sail. sail. Yeah, had a tree growing in it. The tadpole swimming in the village. So uh, no, no hatches. It was. It been there for like 20 years. It, it was, was a, a whole good deal. It was a. It was a. It was a great <laughs> biological experiment. So uh, be cautious with what you take for free. But um, a little bit about this boat. It. Uh, it. It came to us from um, uh, a, a nice guy out in Big Lake, Washington here. Um, and he used it just on the lake pretty much the whole boat's life, but it just wasn't maintained properly. Um, and ultimately what happened is the uh, exhaust manifolds failed, um, filled the engine with water. Uh, he took it in to get it worked on. Um, the mechanic kind of diagnosed it wrong because he couldn't get it to turn over. So he replaced the starter. But in fact, the reason it wouldn't turn over is because it was seized up like a ball of rust, which it was. Um, and so he decided that essentially it would be more affordable for him to buy a new boat. So he he uh, he offered it to us at the college and, and we accepted it because the hull itself was in really good shape. It has a really nice trailer on, galvanized trailer. Um, all it needed was basically an engine. Even the outdrive was in, in really good condition. Um, so we, we we took it on, brought it to the school um, and, and started a little project. This was the first of our kind of uh, yeah. um, re-projects re, re we've been doing here at the school. And uh, it really is fantastic experience for the students. Um, we but make somebody a nice boat. It's got a good cover too. Great cover. cover. Yep, yeah, a little bimini top and all, all yeah. that all that fancy so, stuff. Um, when we bring in boat projects, it has to tie to curriculum. Right. right? And so that was at this that time Matt was right in the middle of engines class and of course this needs a new engine. So it, it was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. So we, we sort of uh, um, had a few students kind of take charge of the project, um, ripped out the old old engine, ordered a brand new long block, a V6 Vortec little 4.3 liter gas engine. Um, and it was a it was a really great project for students to, you know. Work, yeah, we worked with Sierra, they got manifolds. Uh, you guys cleaned the fuel system out, right? Yeah, it's all fresh fuel. Fuel system, uh, students did a bunch of wiring from your from your electrical did, class. Electrical. Anytime yep. you get a 20 year old boat, if boat owner's been in there mucking around, you know it's gonna need some Absolutely, love. absolutely. So we took care of all that. We had one student, Q, he was uh, kind of the lead, you know, we always seem to have one student who really gets involved the in foreman. the project. The yep. foreman, yep. yep, yep. And so we, uh, it was great. We used our forklift and our gen pole. We dropped this new Vortec down in here. Yep and uh, got it all hooked up and, and got it running. So here we are and, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a beautiful boat and um, it's time now we're gonna sell this one and we have a whole new free boat to get started on. <laughs> yeah. um, the next one's Can't gonna be a bigger, a one. bigger project. Uh, so, um, and that's kind, of, that's kind of what we do here at Marine Tech and this is a really, again, a fantastic way for students to get this kind of real hand-on, hands-on experience um, doing, a, doing an engine refit and things like this. Yeah. So, yeah. Great. Thanks for watching. Take care.